So when, I came, when the collection was first conceptualized, I called it Modern Americana, and I did that because I felt like Amer Americana was something that when, when we thought about it, it was like, oh, the spinning wheel, or like, you know, like something that was not terribly, you know, that people weren't very interested in anymore. And so, um, and so I thought, you know, everything that we think of as being sophisticated or chic generally is being brought to us from another world, whether it's French or Italian or English or uh, Japanese, and we get all these influences. And it was very interesting to me that American furniture in its original moment was really a simplification of European forms. So the idea of American furniture to me was actually modern. It was the modernization of sort of these, you know, these, these uh, more traditional concepts and ideas. So the idea of the collection was really about the simplification of things that we are that are familiar to us and that we like and that we gravitate towards, but making them to simplify them and make them a little bit more about the way we live today. And so that's why I think a lot of the pieces have staying power. Um, I also think um, that the other reason is is that I, I, myself and my my team in my office are very involved in um, with Vanguard in we're we're there working with the team. Um, whether it's seat heights or um, the button sizes or the detail, how how the table extends, you know, doing the table, the descending tables from the end, not the middle, on certain pieces, and trying to like really be thoughtful about detail so that people have the, the opportunity to really customize things. Like the Chatfield bed has these great sort of like details where the fabric wraps the frame, and you can do it the same fabric, or you can do it in leather or suede or. So it gives you the ability to really personalize it. And I think that I really, I'm, I'm very connected to the product. I'm not just a person saying, hey, I have some notoriety because I've, I've been on television and I want to just put my name on something. And if that's not sort of the journey that I'm on. But for me, it's, I'm very involved in a collection. I really love it. I stand behind it. I stand in front of it at high point and I really want to talk to everybody and hear what they have to say. So I think that that has, I think that keeps it, um, you know, I think it keeps it moving forward and and we're responding to what people are saying in the show. If someone says, oh yeah, I don't love that piece, but it feels like it sits too high or the arm is too deep or the seat is, so we really listen to that and we a lot of times will modify pieces based on that kind of information. So we're really connected to it and we're constantly trying to keep our product um, very authentic to our design and our concept as a whole, so that it feels like it makes sense, you know, as a, as a grouping. And um, and so I think that we just put a lot of thought and we're thoughtful about it, and there's a lot of energy and creativity and passion that goes into it. And so I think that uh, you know I, I hope that that is you know reflected in the final product. Mm -hmm.